Hello everyone, my name is Santosh Gupta and in this video we're going to use LabVIEW to control a servo motor through an, an Arduino microcontroller and during that, during the control we're going to collect data from the angle and the time and save that to a spreadsheet. So let me show you the control panel. On the left we have a dial this controls the degrees. Here we have 0 to 180 degrees. On, on the right side we have a XY graph with degrees versus time. And before we can use this control panel, we have to first upload the LabVIEW firmware onto the Arduino. For more information about this firmware and where you can get it, please check the description section of this video. Okay, the firmware has been or it has been uploaded onto the Arduino. So now we can use the we can use LabVIEW to control our servo. When the orange light starts flashing, as it is now, that means LabVIEW is now talking to the Arduino. And now let's check it out. The servo motor turns as we're turning the dial. And this is the XY graph. Let's set it to zero. Let's stop the program. And now LabVIEW is asking where and where we can save the spreadsheet and what we can name it. Let's name it ABC. Okay, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Oh, here it is. On the left side, in the A column, we have time in seconds, and on the right side, on the B column, we have the angle. So for the few first few seconds, I left it at 0 degrees, and then we go forward to 180, and back, and forward, and we leave it at 180 degrees for a while. I left it at 124.7 for a while, and then I set it back to 0 degrees. Let's take a look at the block diagram controlling this uh, LabVIEW program. These six blocks, the ones that say Arduino on top, these come from the Arduino add-in. For more information about that, please check the description section of the video. This first block, this initializes communi communication between LabVIEW and the Arduino. This uh, second block, this block sets the num number of servos. We only have one. This one, this configures the servo. We uh, name the servo servo0. And we set that to pin 8. As you can see, that's what it's uh, set to. I'm not sure if you can see it by the quality, but this uh, pin right here, it's connected to slot 8. These three blocks are outside the while loop. That's because we only need, we need to, um, we only need to initialize set the number of servos and configure the servo once and these two blocks are inside the while loop and this block it writes the angle from the dial we have here and then this block reads the angle 
and sets the servo motor to that angle. And then this block is outside the while loop. This closes communication between LabVIEW and the Arduino microcontroller. Now let's talk about this XY graph and how it's getting its data. It's getting its data through this bundle and this bundle collects data from these two arrays. This array collects data from the degree dial. This one, this is the time in seconds. And this collects it from this uh, iteration counter and this operation. Um, it multiplies the, multiplies the iteration by 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the time delay. So every 0 0.2 seconds this while loop does an does another iteration. And so the iterations are multiplied by 0 0.2 and this time is recorded in this array and these arrays are fed to this bundle which gives information for this XY graph. Now I'm going to explain how this program collects the time and angle data and writes it to a spreadsheet. The angle and time arrays are fed into this matrix. This matrix is outside the while loop and there's a purpose for that. If this matrix was inside the while loop, each time the while loop would do another iteration, it would write over the data contained in the previous iteration. So that is why this matrix is outside the while loop. And um, not only did I have to keep this matrix outside the while loop, but I had to do I had to enable indexing. Um, when I set the matrix outside the while loop, by default, whoops, by default the indexing was disabled. So each time the while loop would do an iteration, it would overwrite data from the previous iteration, and so there would only be two data points every time I save. To prevent this, I would enable indexing. Now, each time the while loop would do, would perform a, an another iteration, it would add on to the, add, on, add data to the matrix instead of overwriting the data. And um, yeah, that's why the matrix is outside the while loop. And this block, it writes data from the matrix onto a spreadsheet. And um, yes, I will conclude this video with, uh, with another demonstration of the, of the control panel. Run it, wait until the orange lights flash, and now we will rotate it 180 degrees. Let go at 90 degrees for a while and set it back. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching everyone.